Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Here I got my GTS 300 HPE2 2023 model, the Super Sport in the beautiful orange with the fake carbon fiber, as I like to point out. Um, what's the best thing about Vespa? It's got a meeper. Nah, just the regular buzzer. Maybe you want it to sound like a car. Perfect opportunity to upgrade to a car style horn. So Scooter West Web Store, we have this available. It's made by Seeger, it's a European company, made in Europe still, not a cheap Chinese one. So there's probably some good Chinese ones out there too, but uh, Horn-136. Uh, the reason we came with that part number like 15 years ago is it's about 136 decibels if you put it near your ear, it's gonna blow your ears out. Uh, pretty simple install, because it's just a basic electric horn. A lot of people want to do the air horn setups, but those are pretty involved and pretty difficult on a 2023. Behind this lake shield is just co completely crammed with electronics, wiring, hydraulics, ABS modulators. They're not like the GTS from yesteryears, where there's a lot of room to have some fun back there. So the next best thing is put the electric horn. It's cheaper and easier to install as well, and just as a as effective to tell somebody, get out of my way. So the first order of operation is you're gonna need to remove this horn cover. Uh, Scooter West tool trim, if you're looking for these handy little trim tool kits. Just go in from the left side of this little emblem right here, and there's a little notch, and you just pry right off, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, if you try to pry it any other ways, you'll probably just break it. Underneath that reveals a single screw. I'm using a T25 Torx driver. So kind of like a star style bit. Pull that screw out and kind of grasp it with two hands. There's gonna be gripper clips towards the front and you mostly pull from the, the bottom and it will release these three gripper clips. And as you can see, there's a little uh, horn grill. The little Chevron thing is actually a one piece on these. You can actually remove that. Uh, there's other colors available from the other models of the GTS where you could take it off and paint it a different color. Maybe you want to change it black. So just a, a thought for you. So go ahead and take a 10 millimeter combination wrench and the fastener is kind of hidden on the side. I may need to do a couple turns to get it loose may need to just flip that around. And at this point, you can get your fingers in there sometimes to spin that fastener right off. Make sure you don't lose it in the frame. I'm trying to make this a nice simple job because removing the glove box on a scooter is not exactly easy. I've covered it on some past videos where I put the USB external charging outlet that has the USB-C quick charge on it. So charges your phone nice and quick when you need it most on the scooter, maybe. So I'm almost there with the fastener, making sure I'm not gonna drop it. Could use a magnet to help, help you out with that. So I have that single 10 millimeter, or six millimeter nut, but it's got a 10 millimeter. And now you just rock the horn out of the way. There's gonna be a pair of wires connecting it. Just go ahead and pull those two wires out. So robot's wrong. Got to remove the glove box. I have installed these on some of the 2020 and later models, and I do recall even those didn't have enough room. So the second best option is there is some space on top of the radiator, and we'll go ahead and put that in this little nose cone area where it sits like that and faces towards this opening here. Unfortunately, the glove box has got to come off. And if you're looking for another video on how to remove the glove box, just search YouTube for 2023 Vespa GTS USB. And there's one where I put the USB outlet and of course remove the glove box on that one as well. All right, so you're gonna wanna remove one of these turn signals. New GTSs, they no longer have fasteners on the outside, so take your 10 millimeter wrench. You got the single fastener on the back. And pull that off and be prepared for two washers to drop off as well. 
And as you can see, the glove box is a little lazy here. I didn't bother taking the whole entire glove box off. I jammed a couple rags in there. So these glove boxes are pretty difficult to completely remove. And I've covered that in installing the USB jack on 2023 G GTS. And at this point, you have this black frame behind the turn signal after you get the, the fastener off. You're gonna have to lift some of the tabs, lift it down here, and it releases most of the way. And then each of the sides have tabs as well. So you kinda gotta pry. It's a little bit tricky to get off. There's also the single connector, and it has a little tab that holds it in place, and then a tab that holds the connection. So at this point, we're getting pretty close. So there's four sides of this black frame that holds the turn cell in place. And then get the last one. There we go. Now pull right away. And I'll show you how this works while it's out of the scooter frame because it's a little difficult to see what I was doing in here. So this is the frame that supports the whole turn signal from the back. The connector goes through this little slot right here. And there's a peg and the bolt pop right through. And once you snap in place, it's got snaps on all four sides. So now it's trapped. You gotta essentially release two of them at first, the back side, and then this side, and then it will pull right off. So the next order operation, we're gonna mount the horn on top of this plastic radiator scoop that's in front of the left hand radiator. Forget the right hand side, there's an ABS pump in the way. Uh, so you have the hose which is about the center of there and you want to go back a little bit more than an inch. Just make, make a mark um, and approximately where that is. And there's not much clearance for a drill. You're going to want to turn the fender and we can drill this from up here. You, pr you may want to get a long drill bit. Yeah. All right, so go ahead and plop the horn right into that hole. FYI, I took that bracket that's included with the horn off. And you're gonna find the pair of wires that went to the existing horn. The cool thing about these electric horns, they don't really draw much more than the, the original disc horn, so. And they have the exact same terminals as that disc horn that we removed. And kind of just set it in place, just like such. It's touching the hose just ever so slightly, but it's kind of nestled right in that little location right there. So go ahead and reuse the nut that held the two brackets in place. Uh, you may want to find a fender washer, it's just a small one, because it is going into plastic. You do have those fins that are a little bit hard to kind of go around. All right, so I have the fender washer in place, and I'll go ahead and get the nut started. There's just enough room above that last fin on those um, radiator protectors. There we go. So now it's threaded on. And at this point, you wanna get a little wrench up in here and tighten that nut so the horn stays put. Wanna make sure that the horn does move around. Before we go any further, we're gonna actually turn the scooter on just uh, see how the horn sounds before we button everything up. Sounds pretty good to me. All right, so we'll put the turn signal back in place, pop it in the cavity, string the connector through, and while you're at it, it actually snaps onto this little thing right here. holds the connector in place. All right, so now everything's back in place. I have the nut on the center stud of that turn signal. Go ahead and use a little ratchet to tighten that back in place. One thing to keep in mind, these turn signals sometimes need to be centered 
they don't do it on their own. So as you're tightening the nut, kind of make some minor adjustments if needed. There we go. And don't forget to reconnect that connector. And as you can see, I have rags kind of protecting. Obviously, the, the very thorough way to take this glove box off, you want to take the whole entire handlebars all off. But I just want to get it out of the way, enough to do the job I needed to do. And that's all I needed to do, so. All right, the finishing touch. Put the horn cover back on. Pretty much just snaps. All three fasteners snap in place. Put the little screw in here. Then snap the badge back in place. Voila. Works perfect, sounds nice, sounds like a proper horn. And definitely that install is not for the faint of heart. Uh, quite a bit of work and maneuvering. So you find that last little nook inside the bodywork on that right side radiator to put that horn. And that's all you got. So got the USB, the horn. I don't know what else you could put under there, not much more. Well, thanks for watching. Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com. Unfortunately, I'm gonna sell this beauty right here. Moving on to my next project, so stay tuned to the Vespa Motorsport YouTube channel and I'll have more content for you. See you on the next one.